Hi, my name is Freddie. My sign name is this, and I am 17 years old. And this is my story. My parents got divorced 10 years ago. My mom was deaf, abusive, and struggled with drugs, alcohol, and even mental health. She always discouraged going to church or having a relationship with Christ. It all added up, and I stopped talking almost completely. Finally, my dad got custody of me and my brother. Our family had us go to Catholic church. As I grew up, I never felt safe or comfortable. We moved to Mexico, and I tried to redefine myself in school, but I never found a good relationship with the community. After returning to the U.S., I started speaking again and began high school. I started taking classes at UNO and met Daniel with the Christ Community Church College Ministry, who gave me my very first personal Bible. He invited me to come to CCC, and this was the very first community that I felt comfortable in. I felt safe and something new that I've never felt before. I accepted Christ into my life on my very first day that I came here. Ever since I was a kid, God has helped me to learn new languages. He has pointed me to come here and be in community with a man and woman for the purpose of eventually taking the gospel to places around the whole world. Two months ago, I had the same vision, or five times. I heard the I heard the someone tell me to get baptized over and over again so that I could tell the world about Jesus. And this is why I'm here today. All right, my name is Daniel Mitchell, and I am Freddie's community group leader. And like, I, like the video was saying, we met at UNO's campus during the first week of classes. I think it was a Tuesday we met in Milo Bale Student Center. And right off the bat, you could tell Freddie was really hungry for a community, hungry to know God more deeply, and hungry to share his gifts with people. And like you mentioned, he's fluent, in sign language and like five total languages. He's been blessed with an incredible gift for language and his desire is to use that gift for the good of the kingdom. And he's, since accepting Christ, he started a Bible study for deaf kids and he's already using those gifts to minister to others and it's so beautiful to see. Um, so Freddie, I'm so excited to baptize you here today. Um, I'm really proud of you and this step of faith um, <laughs> remember that one day in community group? You were saying, I felt like going into my closet to pray for some reason, and then I heard, get baptized, get baptized, get baptized. And you're like, this voice kept saying, get baptized. Torturing. <laughs> Just torturing me over and over again to get baptized. And I was like, Freddie, do you realize going into your closet to pray is in the Bible? <laughs> and Jesus' first command after placing your faith in him is to get baptized, and he's like, whoa. God was speaking to me. And God confirmed that a few more times. One time we were sitting in service and Freddie heard clear as day, Freddie, it's time to get baptized, Speak, spoken in his ear. And God just been calling your name, buddy, and it's my pleasure to baptize you here today. So I have just two questions for you. One, have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. It is, is it your intent to follow him for the rest of your life? Yes. All right. Freddie, as your brother in Christ, it is my pleasure to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.